We often hear that nothing can exceed the speed of light. But why is the speed of light precisely around 300,000 km per second in a vacuum? Could it have been 500,000 km per second instead? In truth, physics doesn't provide a mandatory reason why it must be 300,000. It's just that our universe's laws are set up this way. Like asking why we humans move only at our own relatively slow speeds. In the past, people thought light might be infinitely fast. Galileo tried to measure it directly using lanterns and human reaction times, only to conclude that light was too fast for this method. That alone revealed a lower bound. Light speed had to be very large. Eventually, Roemer in the 17th century deduced from Jupiter's moon Io that light took a certain time to travel the varying distances between Jupiter and Earth, estimating around 200,000 kilometers per second. Not the exact figure, but an ingenious approach for his era. Later, Fizzo used a rotating toothed wheel and a distant mirror to measure about 315,000 kilometers per second and Michelson refined such methods even further via interference experiments. In 2011, one experiment briefly hinted that neutrinos might travel faster than light. Physicists everywhere were stunned, yet most assumed it was an error. Indeed, it turned out to be an equipment glitch. Why were they so certain from the start? According to Einstein's special relativity, Pushing a particle with mass all the way to light speed would require infinite energy. Moreover, if something actually moved faster than light, cause and effect, or causality, could reverse in certain reference frames, demolishing the logical structure of modern physics. This principle is so foundational that any faster than light result is assumed suspect until thoroughly rechecked. However, it's important to distinguish the speed of light in a vacuum from the speed of light through a medium. Light traveling through water or glass can slow down considerably due to absorption and re-emission by atoms. Physicists have managed to slow beams of light to the speed of a running human and in certain conditions effectively stop them altogether. That doesn't break relativity because the fundamental limit is about vacuum light speed C, about 300,000 kilometers per second. Another interesting point. The statement nothing moves faster than light refers to objects traveling within a given space-time. Space-time itself can expand faster than light, as we see in cosmology. That expansion is not constrained by the speed of light limit. Hence, the observable universe can appear to recede faster than C at great distances. What if light speed were infinite? We'd see distant galaxies as they are now with no delay. In that sense, it might be convenient for real-time galactic observation, but ironically, we'd lose the ability to observe ancient epochs of the universe. Currently, because light is finite in speed, when we look at galaxies billions of light years away, we're literally seeing them as they were billions of years ago. A powerful window into cosmic history. Thus, the finite speed of light allows us to study the universe's past directly. Meanwhile, it also maintains causal structure. No signals can outrun C in vacuum. That ensures we don't get paradoxes like effects preceding causes. So while some people ask, why exactly 300,000 kilometers per second? The more crucial aspect is that it's finite. Our entire framework of modern physics, from relativity to cosmology, relies on this fundamental speed limit. In short, light speed is unbelievably fast, but not infinite. We revolve our everyday tech around that fact, e.g. satellite broadcasts, fiber optics, and astronomers rely on it to witness cosmic history. If it weren't for light's finite speed, we'd lose a lot of the structure that makes our universe comprehensible 
and we'd have bigger headaches with broken causality. All in all, we can say that light speed is both an extraordinary enabler for studying the universe and an unbreakable limit for matter and information. Whether it's truly the fastest possible or a cosmic contingency, that's the rule we observe. Until a revolutionary discovery unseats it, which seems very unlikely, physicists will continue to treat 300,000 kilometers per second as the ultimate speed limit. Subscribe channel and click like. That makes you smart.